Hey, it's Asia Lachelle here, and I am back with another video. So, in this video, as you can tell from the title, what I'm going to be showing you how to do very quickly is how to take your templates that you have designed in Canva, how to download them and upload them onto your Acuity scheduling site. So, whether you have designed your templates yourself, whether you have purchased them from someone like myself, um, or whatever, this is how you take those templates from Canva and get them on to Acuity. If you are wanting to find out how to design something like this, or you want this particular design, um, it is available. Um, I'll link it below on my Etsy shop or my, my website. I'll link my website below um, and then you can purchase them um, from there. You can either purchase the templates or you can purchase the service where I actually design and edit and everything for you. Up to you. So that's pretty much it. Um, I am done plugging myself. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So first things first, you are going to come into Canva and you are going to need to download the files that you've created and you want uploaded into Acuity. So one thing to remember is with Acuity, um, the files cannot be larger than 1.5 megapixels or, or 1.5 megabytes, right? So um, with this design that I came up with, it is 2000 by 1000 pixels. So when I did a test run, some of the files were larger than the 1.5. So I'm going to reduce the size by half. So you might come across the same issue. If you have an issue with your file, you try to upload it on to Acuity and it's saying the file is too big, then in order for you to combat that, just come on over into Canva and change the file size down to 0.5 and hopefully that will resolve the issue for you. Um, then all I'm going to do here is I'm going to select all pages. Okay. And then I'm going to click on download. One thing to remember about Canva is if you download more than one page at a time, it is going to put all of those files into a zip file. Okay. You see the format here is zip. So you're going to need to um, have a way to zip those files or unzip those files. Okay. So I have mine saved in my downloads folder and I'm going to double click on that zip file. I'm on a Mac, so all you have to do on a Mac is to unzip it is just double click. I know on Windows machines, you actually need to have like a, a, some software to unzip your folder. So just remember that. So if you don't have any software to unzip your file from Windows, um, and this also goes for um, uh, somebody if you're doing this on mobile, it might be easier for you to download each file one at a time. So when you come into download, instead of clicking all, just select one page, hit done, then hit download. So you don't have to worry about unzipping anything, okay? So just a little helpful tip there. So now that we have the files um, downloaded and unzipped, we're going to come over into our browser, get yourself signed into your Acuity site. And this is typically the page that you're brought into. Um, what you'll need to click on is customize appearance. Okay, and so um, what I'm gonna do is click on the lo logo first and I'm gonna click on choose file. I'm gonna go into downloads, go into that folder. And for me, I named all of my pages. So in order to keep yourself kind of organized, like anytime you're designing, I always like name each one of my pages. So if you can see here in Canva, page one was the logo, header, I know what everything is. Otherwise, it's just going to be like one, two, three, four, five, six. And sometimes you can get confused. So I like to just name stuff. So we're going to start with the logo first. Okay. And then we'll come here under the scheduling instructions. This is normally where you will put all your information, all of your rules, your regulations, your policies, whatever. This is where we're going to put your, your pictures at. Um, and if you're looking at this and you, you've not considered doing this um, in, in really customizing your site, th this is a really good method to really make your get your site look really nice but also to like simplify all of the policies and procedures for um your business because people don't read <laughs> so i feel like this is probably like the best thing to do 
is because people do not read. So if you come up with a nice design that catches their eye, that's easy for them to understand, then this is going to be helpful. So anyway, uh, let me get off of that. What you're going to do here, just click in this box, click on insert image, and then click on choose file. I'm going to start with my header and then hit upload. Okay, so there we have that in there. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to click below that box. You're going to hit return or enter depending on what type of machine you're on but you want some space right the next thing you're going to do come back into insert image and we're going to go to the next file so i'm going to go to my policy page number one here we go i'm going to do the same thing click right here below and then hit return a couple times and then i'm going to insert the next page and i'm going to go for doing the same thing like this um until I have all the pages loaded in okay so um, one tidbit that I would say if you're not using the template that I've designed is make sure that you don't crowd too much text into one box make sure that your text is large enough for people to be able to see because most people are booking on acuity from their phone so make sure you use a, a large enough font. I try to keep my fonts um, at least at 20. Um, so here we go. So here's all of uh, the, the pages loaded. So now we wanna get rid of this because we don't want the space in between there, right? We want it to look like it's flowing like one website. So what you do, you see how I placed that cursor right behind this first picture? That's all you're gonna do is place it there and then you're gonna hit delete or backspace do that again just hit delete and all we're doing is just getting rid of that extra space that we created now you may be tempted to not put those extra spaces in there to save yourself time the reason why you put those extra spaces in I found that when you don't do that when you go to upload the picture it will start pasting things out of order so that's why I put all those spaces and then just delete them afterwards because it eliminates acuity putting things in the wrong order and it's very hard to put them in the right order. So that eliminates that issue. Um, so that's how you upload. The next thing I do here is I just change the font if you want. I'm gonna keep it at Lotto because I actually use Lotto in this design and the accent color. So how you can get your accent color for your buttons and all of that kind of stuff on the, the uh, design is if you come into Canva, if you happen to be using Canva, hopefully you are because Canva's awesome, you can choose the, the colors that you already have, right? So I'm gonna click that, I want this pink. All you do is you select something that has a color you want, click on this add new color uh, box, and then that is your hex code. That is the color pink okay so that's how you get your hex code and if you don't know what a hex code is the hex code is basically the the it's a code associated with the color so every color on the color spectrum has the hex code associated with it it can be all letters all numbers or a combination of the both and it's always six digits so you see I just pasted that in and then now that pink is there and all you do is you save your changes and then we're all set and you see the logo has uploaded and everything has loaded and this is your, like, like your preview box, but then you can view it live. And there we have it, there is the design. So that's how you upload your um, files from Canva into Acuity and how you customize your scheduling page. And again, if you are interested in this particular design, whether you want the template or you want me to do the editing for you, just click the link below in the description box. Um, and yeah, just give this video a like because I'm pretty sure it was helpful. I hope it was helpful. Anyway, I will catch you guys later. And if you're interested in learning how to um, design an Acuity site like this, um, just let me know and I'll, I'll do a video. All right. Bye, guys.